Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. In our previous video, we gave the description of drug likeness that what parameters are important for the compound to be a drug like. So, today we will discuss that how we can obtain these parameters or what are the different softwares through which we can predict. But uh, specifically, today we will discuss that uh, toxicity. So we can, how we can check LD50 and toxicity of our compounds through a software which is known as toxicity estimation software tool. So here is the icon of that software. So it is toxicity estimation software tool. Okay, now we have opened this tool. So we can enter structure by molecular ID. So draw a structure. So we can draw a structure here by this uh, by these parameters or we can enter a case number or the molecular id or we can import mdl or mole file so how we can import or how we can draw from here or we can import mdl mole file so let's suppose we have this structure for which we want to estimate toxicity like ld50 oral rat ld50 and uh, uh, mutagenicity and uh, other factors are also environmental toxic effects so we will save this file save as from here we will save it as mdl mole file like here i am going to save it on the desktop with the, the name compound okay now it is saved so now we move to uh, this software and uh, from here we will import from structure database or import from mdl mole file or we can from this we can enter a case number. so here we will import from mdl file file from here we will open from desktop so go to desktop so we have this compound mole file okay now it is open here and this is the molecular id of this compound so now we are going to test different parameters from here we can choose the parameters like from here i am going to check oral red ld50 so this is our first so method from here we can select method uh, consensus method hierarchical clustering fda from fda it is uh, what is the uh, different uh, compounds in fda and nearest neighbor means that if it, this compound is uh, novel and unknown so we can also choose from this that nearest neighbor what is the toxicity or ld50 of the nearest neighbor this is from the fda data and this is from a clustering and this is from consensus so first we check from consensus which gives all of these so calculate so from here where we want to uh, save this file these files okay so we can choose from here we can select where we want to save these files like from here i'm going to browse and i'm going to save these files uh, as i will go i will delete these files after this so i'm going to save on desktop okay yes create a folder now it's running after some time it will give us results so it will take more time because it uh, takes from different uh, databases so consensus method takes more time than others
now it is taking data from FTA model okay now after completion of the test now it is open so if we look at here oral red LD50 in minus log 10 that is mole per kg uh, experimental value is not applicable predicted value is 2.44 and oral red LD50 in milligram per kg it is 671.84 milligram per kg so this is the LD50 for this compound uh, from hierarchical cluster uh, not applicable from FDA it is 3.07 from nearest neighbor it is 1.80 and uh, here is the different so these are the this is our structure and this is neighbor our nearest neighbor and uh, these are other nearest neighbors with uh, different similarity coefficient this is the similarity coefficient with that neighbor and these are the case number of these compounds so we can also check the uh, these compounds parameters of these compounds so uh, we can check parameters or descriptor values from this also the so descriptor values so it gives molecular weight average molecular weight and all other factors number of double bond triple bonds and so connectivity and all these values can be obtained from here okay now after this we can uh, save this file mm, and uh, now we want to check uh, other toxicity of these this compound like mutagenicity so i'm going to check mutagenicity and if we uh, don't get ld50 from consensus method then we can choose from nearest neighbor method of this or uh, fda so now here we will so from here we are now going to check mutagenicity <laughs> calculate mutagenicity now it is uh, running so we have some more options in this software i will show you now it is calculating okay so now it is working on fta models and then it will give us results okay now it is our result is open the mutagenicity value is uh, experimental value is not applicable and predicted value is 0 0.42 and it is negative so mutagenicity result mutagenicity is negative so it means our compound is non-mutagenic these are the predicted value from individual methods and uh, this is the uh, consensus method from consensus it is mutagenicity negative and the predicted value is 0 0.42 so in this way we get these results and and also we can get uh, lc50 for 96r fat had me now lc50 daphnia lc50 then uh, there, these are pyriformes and then bioaccumulation factor it means that uh, how much our compound will accumulate inside the living organism so it is also important in environmental uh, toxicity developmental toxicity that is embryonic development toxic effect and uh, okay so we can also check from here vapor pressure at 25 degrees centigrade normal boiling point melting point flash point density surface tension at 25 degrees centigrade thermal conductivity viscosity and water solubility at 25 degrees centigrade so we can also observe these descriptors from this test software so uh, it means that this uh, software is very important in uh, environmental studies and also the descriptors of some compounds and also toxic effect of the compound so from this software we can uh, test or we can obtain these type of toxicity results okay so today it's for uh, toxicity effect and descriptors 